Hi, welcome to my video. Um, this video is entitled Safe Browsing and Password Encryption and I just wanted to give you a quick sort of introduction about some of the um, dangers you can have with normal browsing on the internet. Now when we browse on the internet we're usually told we're okay when we're logging into secure sites because we use something called HTTPS or SSL which is um, the secure version of um, our web browsing of HTTPS. Um, it basically, you, you've probably seen the little um, padlock here on the PayPal thing, and you're told if you see a little key or a pass um, a padlock that everything you type in is safe and secure. Well, that's not entirely um, uh, true uh, because um, there are lots of ways of intercepting and um, decrypting this traffic, and I'm going to show you one now. Um, now, um, to demonstrate, I'm going to use PayPal. Uh, PayPal, it could be any different um, secure website. Uh, I've picked PayPal because it's quite famous and they've got top-notch security. Um, it could be your banking, your email, whatever, a forum, anything like that. PayPal is more difficult than most of them, so that's why I've chosen it. Okay, now I've put here a PayPal address um, I log in test in login at googlemail.com uh, it's obviously not my real email address but now I'm going to put in oh right I'm going to show you how to intercept it first now what I need to do is start a program called Fiddler um, this is a free program um, and what it does is it intercepts web traffic and you can see here it also has the ability to decrypt HTTPS traffic <coughs> excuse me so it can basically take all that encrypted super secure traffic and turn it into clear text that anybody can read okay so I'm gonna uh, just minimize this and what I'm gonna do is l pretend I'm logging on to PayPal um, PayPal I'm gonna put I put a false email address and a false password partly because I don't want anybody to see my real email and password but uh, I'll put in a password as you can't see this password okay and I'll log in and now it's gonna give me an error because it doesn't know blah 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 But what we're gonna do is go and look in Fiddler and here we will see the login to um, PayPal now if I move across here to the raw um, section which shows you all the data that's traveled in in the raw not encoded you can see at the bottom here we've got login email testing login at googlemail.com which is the fake email address I put in and the password is you can't see this password so Fiddler has decrypted uh, my password and my login um, across the wire it commonly this is the, co commonly used in something called a man in the middle attack now there are warnings you'll get um, you might get a certificate error because basically Fiddler needs to sit in between you and PayPal. Now, in this case, it's sitting on my PC. And um, so that's why I didn't get the certificate warning. But it could easily sit on a router. It could sit on a proxy or a VPN server you might be using. Any intermediate um, device uh, Fiddler could um, sit on and steal your username and password. Now, Fiddler is the easiest one to use. There are other programs that are even more sophisticated and they give you even less warnings. Um, there's programs called SSL Strip and loads of different attacks. Um, Fiddler's just easier to see, to demonstrate here. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to put another video up shortly about showing you how you can stop this working, but I'll, I'll keep this short. And um, hopefully you'll want to watch my other video as well, too. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.